Okay, so some sad news update. Um, we had to say goodbye to our cat, Zoe, who was just the best cat that you could imagine. She was super friendly, um, just was so attached to me, especially, um, it was really hard. It was um, two weeks ago. Uh, I don't know when I'll put this out, but um, it was in October. And um, yeah, so we thought we would, we knew the time was coming. Um, and I'd said to my husband that I think when the time comes that I'd like to go away for a couple of days because I don't think I could take the our home being so empty um, without her and just always thinking that you hear um, her. And I know other people have probably gone through this too with um, when you've lost a pet, you just think you see them and hear them and expect them to come around the corner. And Zoe was just so always there that it was um, just a little too much to take. So that's why we decided to go somewhere not too far away um, that we could drive to. We're not far from the border. So we went to Buffalo um, the next day and um, just in the afternoon after my husband was finished work. And um, we stayed there for a night and then we went on to Rochester. And um, I happened to remember, I hadn't been in Rochester for a really long time. Um, the most recent was when we went to the Finger Lakes, which is a really beautiful area of, um, of New York State. Um, so anyways, that was the one place that I could think to go to, to look forward to, um, to have something just to take my mind off things. And, um, it was great. I happened to look, um, I think I tripped across when I was looking for um, pastels. I um, found this company, this French company that I'll get to, um, that uh, they're not sold in Canada as far as I know. And it popped up that they were um, online at thefineartstore.com, which is actually Rochester Art Supplies um, online presence. Um, but the bricks and mortar place is in downtown Rochester and I was just blown away by the pastel, um, display there. It was in almost a kind of separate room and it was all these, um, cabinets with drawer after drawer full of pastels and all different brands that I hadn't seen or used before. Um, some of the big names like Sennelier and um, Unison and uh, Schmincke, um, they were all there, but then they had a lot that are very sp um, specialized kind of um, handmade ones that you don't see in too many places. So let's get down to what I got while I was there. And I'm going to put it on, this isn't really uh, pastel paper, but it's a nice neutral gray paper by um, Claire Fontaine, mixed media paper. And um, let's start with, maybe, maybe I'll have to put a couple of them on a white paper, just because you won't see. Let's start with this big guy. So this is um, Art Spectrum and it's um, an Australian company and this is the warm gray and it's really chunky block. I thought that would be nice to put down as a background color in some places. It's really nice soft color warm as it suggests a warm gray here we go 
And that's what I usually do. I'll put up um, all of these on my website under color charts and I'll put uh, Rochester Art Supply as the, um, the search method for this. All right, so another art spectrum is this Thalo Green. It's a really, really, if it is indeed green, seems like the wrong, I thought it was a, an off-white. Um, it's extra soft pastel. And yep, it's made in Brunswick, Australia. So if it is green, it's a very, very, very light green. And then moving on to the one that piqued my interest um, to begin with, there's this Henri Rocher um, from Paris on Rue Rambouteau. And these are handmade, really beautiful. My husband actually picked out that color and I, I love, love it. Super, super soft, but still with like a, hard enough edge that you can get in detail and so that one was these don't have names they have numbers so that's 7112 this one is 8766 so it's like a pinky kind of gray This one is one, two, two, nine. It's a nice, really, really nice dark green. You know I'm mad about greens. And then this one is eight, 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 two. And it's another kind of purple, really dark, shadowy purple. And sticking with the French, this is, I think these are Giro. Yeah. So these are actually stamped on the edges. You can see it a little bit better on that one. And so the numbers are there. It's another green. nice sort of olive green kind of um, vintage -y pink just so you can see that a little bit better on white and my husband I think picked out that orange because he loves orange he was as mesmerized as I was with the display of pastels it was just really really something he kept opening all the the drawers and look at this look at this i'll list the numbers below just in case you can access them and then this is kind of a well-known brand Daler rowney um i just never see their soft pastels in Canada, at least not open stock. Um, this is 251 and it's tint two. It's another gray, just a little difficult to see on the, the gray paper. And then the one that I was really interested in was um, Jay Luda. They're a relatively newish, about 10 years um, of selling uh, their pastels. Uh, they're made in Italy, handmade in Italy. I've been talking to them um, through Instagram to see if um, there's going to be a presence for them in Canada because these are really, really beautiful. And I love 
I love the the square format for especially for doing large swaths of color. This one is 1P. And I came across those because for the um, Urban Sketchers Symposium, they were a sponsor. And um, for one of the workshops, they had a little um, package of different pastels for that workshop. And if I'd known, I would have taken that workshop. Um, so this one is 10D. And I should have got more of those. You know, they're not cheap. I was trying not to spend stuff with work being kind of precarious at the moment. Um, but, you know, I don't go to Rochester every day. That's for sure. Um, and I kind of needed something to cheer myself up. So I've had these before. Um, Diane Townsend usually are the ones that I got were the regular rolled, um, hand rolled, um, uh, pastels, but this one are her terrage, um, format. So it's like kind of almost like a little pebble. And I just thought it was a nice size to try. This is one, five, six. Again, the green. And I just thought that'd be nice to try. I have managed to get Diane Townsend ones through Jackson's. Um, I'm not sure that they sell the these pebble-like ones or not. And then I happened to see um, Karen Dush. They had you know a good display of pastel pencils as well, and I have um, some by uh, Stabilo, the Carbothello ones, and then I have some of the um, uh, Faber-Castell pastel pencils too, but I don't have any of the uh, Karen Dosh ones. And they kind of have a little bit, let's see, a little bit thicker core than the, the Pit Pastel pencils. Probably about the same as the Carbothello ones. So that's a very close to this color one. And I just kind of ruined that. <laughs> so I have to go back over that. And then I got something that was more like a, a gray or um, Payne's gray. So 788. This one was. 788 is the pencil type code. Um, it's grayish black 008. And they don't. Warm Earth 40%. And it is 745 for this one. So it's very like a Payne's gray. So that's mostly it. I also picked up, um, you have seen these pencils before. I got them at um, Hyatt's in Buffalo. We didn't go there this time because we you know, spent enough at um, Rochester Art Supply. Uh, these are the Koei Noor Tritome. So they have three different colors. And I really like them for uh, urban sketching because it has a really nice, gives a really nice sense of texture. I, I thought at first they were a little bit gimmicky, you know, for children, but I really, really like um, the way they come out. So maybe move this aside. So when you're doing foliage, it just, you know, it just seems to have that kind of foliage look where you have all the different colors. So I got another two of these for a friend of mine who loved 
um, mine and you can't get them here. And I picked up this one for myself. This is Volcano. They don't have a number. Maybe they do. 352? That might be their number. So this is Rainforest. Um, and this one's Meadow. And then Volcano is the... It looks like... Kind of looks like um, fire or lava. Um, but I'll probably use that for doing textures for brick when I'm urban sketching. So that is that. Um, yep. So we, um, we now have Sadie in our lives. Um, she's a five-year-old rescue that we got, um, from Toronto Cat Rescue. And she's originally from Quebec. Um, and she's just been a little bit of sunshine, um, in a very literally gray, <laughs> um, time of a lot of problems, not just losing Zoe, but some other issues have come up in just a month. A lot has happened, um, not a lot of good things. And, um, she has really helped us cope with that. She is super energetic, uh, loves to play. She's not a lab cat yet, um, but we're hoping that that will, will change because, you know, Zoe was always on me and I kind of miss the weight of her on my lap. And, um, but Sadie, you know, I think it was the second night she was sleeping beside me so she's made herself at home and she's pretty comfortable um with us and not hiding she hid the first um the first night and gave my husband a bit of a startle when he opened the um bathroom drawer and put his hand in and she was right there <laughs> uh but yeah, I'm sure you'll see her in future videos. You won't hear her like you would have heard Zoe. Um, Zoe had um, basically a, a form of cat dementia at the end. So she didn't see me. I wasn't in her direct line of sight. She would howl. Um, so that's why often you would have heard her. And I apologize if it bothered your other pets at home. Um, but Sadie is very quiet. Um, she has almost like a beep for a meow <laughs> rather than a meow. Um, I don't know if that will change. It's okay if it doesn't. Um, it's really rather cute. Um, so yeah, so that's the way things are. And, um, I hope you can check out, um, the fineartstore.com online, uh, and, um, or go and see the Rochester Art Supply uh, store in person because you will be, even if pastels aren't your thing, you will be just amazed by the amount that they have. All right. Thanks so much. Bye.